for this day. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your honor. Thank you for letting us, us have another day. Thank you for letting us have clothes. Thank you for letting us have shoes. Thank you for letting us have everything that you want us to have. Amen. Having too much fun. <laughs> having too much fun there. But yes, kids, I hope you were able to get up and dance and jump and skip and hop. Whatever you do to worship Christ. Whatever that makes you happy, as long as you're giving God the glory. But our topic today is wise men worship Jesus. The topic is wise men worship Jesus. And it's taken from Luke 2, 10 through 11. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. Today in the town of David, a savior, the Messiah, the Lord has been born. He has been born. Kids, what a good God we serve. Let me read the story to you. So the wise men came from the east. They came to Jerusalem. They asked King Herod. Where is the newborn king of the Jews? Where is he? We saw his star in the sky. We have come to worship him. 
King Herod was upset. He was mad. Have you ever been upset? He was upset. He did not want the Jews to have a king. He told the wise men to look in Jerusalem. Tell me where you find the baby, he said. I will come worship him too. The wise men followed the star to Bethlehem. It stopped over a place where Jesus lived. The wise men saw Mary and Jesus. They bowed in worship. They bowed and they worshiped. They brought gifts to the child. These were expensive gifts too. You give the best to the Lord, right? Give him your best. Whether it's through worship, offering, give him your best. God spoke to the wise men in a dream. He told them not to tell Herod. Joseph had a dream also. God told him to take Mary and Jesus to Egypt. Stay there until, it is, until it's safe. Herod will try to kill Jesus. Joseph obeyed quickly. They went to Egypt. They lived there until it was safe to return. The wicked king Herod died. So the wicked king died. Remember the wicked king name is Herod. He died. And an angel appeared in a dream. Take your family to Israel. Joseph took his family home. Joseph took his family home. So kids, why not give him thanks? The Savior has been born, the Messiah. He has been born. We should thank God for his son, Jesus. One way to give God thanks is through prayer. That's one way to give God thanks. But you know you could come up with your own ways of giving God thanks, whether it's through making up your own song. It could be anything else. You could even write down, a, have a prayer book, write things down. You could have your own dance. There are just many ways to give God thanks. There are different ways. And you can come up with your own ways of doing so. I'm sure in the morning you're, you're, you're worshiping God. I'm hoping you are. I'm hoping you're not letting the Monday through Friday go without you giving God thanks or even saying your prayer at night. There are many ways to praise God. And when somebody gives you a gift, when you give somebody a gift, how do you present it to them? How do you present it to them? Do you wrap it in a nice um, gift wrapping paper or do you put it in a gift bag? Do you give that person your, the, the, the best gift that they deserve? That's how we should treat the Lord. When you're giving God a gift, whether it's through offering, whether it's through tithing, somebody might give you $10 and you could just give a dollar from it or maybe $2 from it for your tithe. You know, how do you give your gift to the Lord. When you're walking up to the offering, do you just throw it in a basket? You know, there, there are ways to give God thanks and to are ways to show how much we appreciate him. There are ways to to not let the, go, the days go by without you praying or giving God thanks or worshiping. When you do get the chance to go to church on a Sunday, let not that day go by without you giving God your best worship, your best praise. Sean, when I see you on Sundays, I see you drumming. I see you giving God your best. You know, Kelsey, when you were in church, I see you worshiping God. Avery, I know you used to dance. There are many ways to worship. Delia, I see you worshiping in church. There are many ways to worship. And Dewell, I see you clapping your hands. There, Like I said, kids, there are other ways to worship. Prayer is the key to to, to giving God thanks, but there are other ways and, and, and ways to just worship God. So find out what's your way of worship. And I said this in my last lesson. How do you worship? What are your ways of worshiping? The Savior has been born. He has saved us from our sins, you know, from this world. And he's given us another chance to give him thanks and to give him the glory, to give him the honor and to be just to be right with God so that when he does come, we make it to heaven. You know, let's give God thanks and not, let's not waste our time on earth doing bad things, things that we're not supposed to do. And that could be disobeying your parents, that could be lying, that could be stealing. Let's give God thanks. The Savior has been born to give us another chance to, to find ways to worship him and to do better. And to do better. So let's worship God in every, with everything that we have in us. Give him thanks, whether it's jumping. I know my daughter, Avery, she loves to jump. Sean, I see you jumping a lot too. There are many ways to worship kids. So never forget that the Savior has been born to give us another chance. He's the Savior. He's the King. 
Kids, we serve a mighty God. We serve a king who is above any other name. Above any other name. His name is special. His name is awesome. His name is great. That song says, there's so many wonderful things about Jesus. There's so many wonderful things about him. And they said, his name is wonderful. Is a wonderful counselor. And it just keeps going. It's, there's so many things, wonderful things about the name Jesus. So kids, let's worship. Let's give him thanks. Let's honor his name. And like I said, find ways to, what are your ways of worship? How do you pray? How do you pray at night? How many times during the day do you find time to pray? You know, let's start. You guys are young. Let's start early. Let this be a practice for you to give God glory at all times. Any minute of the day when you get a chance, give God thanks. Kids, I love you and have a blessed Sunday and just be safe and enjoy God. Just enjoy Him. I love you. Have a blessed day.